Welcome to another exciting episode of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and Microtech series. We'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobi, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be configuring a Cisco Catalyst 2960 switch. Without wasting time, let me connect to my party so that I can log into my switch. I'm going to connect to a serial port. We are using COM port 10. Then let me open. Okay, we are inside our switch. There's no configuration on this switch. I've set it to default configuration. I did the right erase command so that I can erase the configuration and did the reload to reload it to default configuration. I'm going to go into enable mode. Then configure terminal. You already know the commands. I'm gonna be a bit fast. If you don't know these commands, make sure you go back to the previous videos so that you can learn the things that you configured there. I'm gonna start by configuring password for enable mode. The command is enable, enable secret password. Let's make it one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Then I'll go to line VTY, zero to four, enter. Password, make it one, two, three, four, five, six. Also, enter login, enter login synchronous, exact timeout. Let's make it five minutes. Enter, then exit line console zero. Enter password one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter login, login synchronous, exact timeout. Give it five. Let's give the the the. Show run command so that we can see the things that we configured so far. Show run. If our enable password is encrypted, let's go down. Line VTY password 123456, it's in clear. And line console 123456, it's in clear. So to fix that, we are going to give the command service password encryption. Enter. And now let's do, do show running configuration again. Let's go down to our Passwords, as you can see, now it's encrypted, level 7, encryption, level 7. Let me change the host name. Let's give it the host name of lab test switch, enter. And then interf interface, VLAN1, we want to give our switch an IP address, interface VLAN1, IP address, DHCP, enter. Let's do show IP interface brief. Show IP interface brief. We got our IP address from our DHCP server. The IP address is 10.10.10.254. Right now, I want to give the command show CDP neighbors. And then we have micro tick device. Our local device is connected on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and the on remote device we are connected to eth2 and we also have lab test router it's connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 10 on the remote device is connected to eth1 show port security enter as you can see port security is not configured okay show port security interface fast ethernet 0 slash 10 you can see it's disabled but if we enable it the violation mode will be shut down and maximum MAC address is 1. Let's enable port security on fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. Let's go to global configuration mode and interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. Enter. Let me give the command switch port host. Enter. Switch port host also turn on the spanning tree port first on the on switch or on the port that we configure it to show run so that we can see our port that is interface fast internet 0 slash 10 switch port mode access spanning tree port first give the command switch port port security mac address and then we want to make it sticky so that the switch will find the mac address for us on that first Ethernet 0 slash 10. And, and let me save my, my configuration, right? Okay, my configuration 
has been saved. Show port security interface first Ethernet zero slash ten enter. Okay. Can see my mistake. I haven't enabled the, the port security on that interface. So to enable the port security on that interface, I'm going to give the command. Okay, let's go into global configuration interface first Ethernet zero slash ten. And then I'm going to give the command switch port port security enter and with that command the port security has been enabled on interface first ethernet 0 slash 10 and to show that let's do the show command we do show port security enter as we can see secure port first ethernet 0 slash 10 mac addresses count one current address is one security violation is zero we are, it's there is no violation at the moment and then shut down that's the uh, uh, the mode of our violation let me type and save our configuration so right now what i'm going to do in my hand here i'm having unify six light i'm gonna take out the router that's connected on ethernet 10 and then on Ethernet, first Ethernet 0 slash 10, and then connect my Unify 6 light. Now that I have connected my Unify 6 light, let me give the command show port security enter. Show port security interface, first Ethernet 0 slash 10, enter. There we have security violation count 1. Sticky MAC address 1, total MAC address is 1, maximum MAC address is also 1. As we can see, we have a violation that happened. And let's see the port status. Our port status right now is on secure shutdown. Okay, let me give that command again and see. Okay, we were too quick to give the command that time. As we can see, right now it shows the violation there's one count of violation here so the thing that we spoke about on our last lesson on our last lesson is that if you didn't make it auto auto recovery state then you have to give the command you have to go and physically give the command and shut down and then no shut down so that your your port can come up again so right now I'm going to do that, shut down and no shut down, and then my port will come back. And then we are going to demonstrate it again with auto recovery. So right now I'm going to take out my Unify Light 6 and put uh, the right uh, uh, device, which is the Microtik Mini Router. And then I'll do shut down and no shut. Let me give the command. Show IP interface brief. As you can see, first Ethernet 0 slash 10 is down. Configure terminal. Interface first Ethernet 0 slash 10. Shut down. No shut down. Okay, down. No shut down. Enter. Then do show IP interface brief. Let's see again what, does, what will happen. You can see here it came up. That first Ethernet 0 slash 10 is now up. And then we can also do, we can also give the command do show IP interface, do show port, do show port security interface first Ethernet 0 slash 10. And, and right now we can see the port is secure up because we have gave it shutdown and no shutdown command. So as I've said, you can configure your switch so that it can auto recover on itself. When there's a violation of a shutdown, the switch after set interval, it will come up. And then if there's still unwanted, unwanted MAC address, the switch will uh, shut down again. But if the MAC address that's on the switch port is the right MAC address, then the switch will work or the port will work. So I'm going to give the command show error disable recover enter these are the 
all the things that are disabled on the switch. So for us to make our switch come up, automatically come up, we have to do, we have to enable the port security violation. This one here, this is the one that we have to enable. So in order to do that, we go to global configuration, configure terminal, and then we give the command error disable recovery cause port secure violation. And, and with that, uh, you are done configuring your switch so that it can come up when it has been violated. You can also set the internet, the time and everything. But I just wanted to show you the command that you use to configure the auto configuration, to do the auto configuration for recovery. So I'm not going to plug my Unify again. We already did that. We, right now, the, the only difference that's going to happen if I can do that, is that after five minutes, the my port will come up again. And then if I've plugged the Microtik mini router inside, then the port will carry on working. But if it's still unified, it will go down again. So right now, another thing that I wanted to do is to configure SSH for our switch. And to do that, we're gonna give the command a p domain name and I'm gonna make it labtest.com enter and then to generate crypto key for our switch we're gonna give the command crypto key generate rsa enter and then let's make our key to be 1024 enter as you can see generating 1024 with rsa key our key has been generated now let's go to our line VTY, line VTY, zero four, no, line, okay, mistake, not line VYT, line TY, zero to four, and we're going to make login local, meaning what we are doing, we are saying, we are telling our switch, use our local database for login, enter, transport, input, SSH, enter exit and username let's make it tabs and secret one two three four five six enter grid means our password will be encrypted okay exit right so that we can save our configuration okay let me check first my ip give the command show ip interface brief so that we can check our IP address 10.10.10.254. Okay, exit. Now let's try to let's try to log in with our SSH session 10.10.10.254. Enter. The first key exchange algorithm algorithm supported by the server. Okay, yes. The server. The server's host key is not cached in the Okay, let's press yes. Login as tabs and password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Enter. We are inside our key and we are using SSH instead of Telnet. So now our configuration or, or what we are doing on the switch will be encrypted. Even if someone can get a program like a wireshark they won't be able to see our configuration because of our configuration will be encrypted it won't be in the uh, instance of telnet where our configuration will be in clear so right now we have upped our security a bit with that that's the end of our lesson for today if you find this video informative Make sure to share it with someone you think will also benefit from it. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so that you can be notified when we drop another lesson. With that said, let me love and leave you. Thank you.